All right, let's start breaking down this lesson for 10 easy melodic licks. And let me preface this by saying that melodic style isn't easy. So definitely just because these are on the easier side of melodic licks, I would still call this probably a, a be advanced beginner or intermediate level lesson. But these are on the easier side of melodic style licks. So let's start breaking down each of the licks. They're not in any particular order, just 10 easy licks to kind of get you started playing melodic style. The format of these licks is we're going to do kind of what I would call the Scruggs sandwich, where we're going to do a Scruggs lick, and then a melodic lick, followed by another Scruggs lick. So we're going to have a melodic lick sandwiched in between two Scruggs licks, which I think is very fun, and it's just a way to throw in a melodic lick and then get back to something more comfortable if you're used to playing Scruggs style. So let's break down each of these 10 licks, starting with lick number one. Here we go. Okay, so for lick number one, we're gonna be over a C chord. Our lick is gonna be over a C chord. So let me play it and then I'll break it down. Okay, so we're gonna start with our Scruggs lick. Classic two, four slide on the third string with an alternating thumb roll, very simple. that twice so the same slide two times in a row if you played Cripple Creek or any basic Scruggs tunes you're probably familiar with this lick then we're gonna slide our index finger up to the fifth fret of the third string and we're gonna play our, our melodic lick we're gonna play third string fifth fret open second string back to that fifth fret on the third string open first string and then move your middle finger up to the fifth fret of the second string and your index finger up to the fourth fret of the first string and then fifth string and then one more fifth fret on the second string so it sounds like this in total but let's just play the lick measure two How we get back to our Scruggs lick, you take your index finger off, play the open first string, and then you basically slide down and, and then your thumb, your right hand comes down and you do a 2-3 hammer on, which is basically like the Foggy Mountain, kind of like a Foggy Mountain breakdown lick. So we have... So you can't loop the whole lick because it starts and ends with your thumb, but just practice getting that lick down, and, and once you get them down too, you can you could play the lick, and then a Scruggs lick. You don't have to always sandwich the lick in between two Scruggs licks, but let's practice it again. Here we go. And then you could, you know, go back into a lick. You could also do more of like a two four slide. this lick is if you've ever played the song New Camp Town Races, it, it'd be capo three, key of B flat, but that's a it's a common little lick in that song on the four chord, the C chord. But really you could use it over any kind of C, like a C major sound. Not, I wouldn't use it as much on like a bluesier song, but anything over a C chord where you have that that one measure of C would work really well. So that's what we're doing there. Let's do it a couple more times, a little faster. You get that good practice of going back and forth. So just practice that. And it's good practice with your right hand. Doing a lot of that index mi middle back and forth, with, which can be tricky. Okay, so that's lick number one. One more time. Let's look at lick number two. We're going to be up here in our G position, our D shaped G chord, except we're going to be using just two fingers to kind of make it more of a lead shape. So we're going to play the Foggy Mountain breakdown roll. to 
use this fifth string, travel up to the 10th fret with your middle finger on the second string and your index finger on the ninth fret of the first string. So you're basically right here and then you flip to here. So you flip like that. That's what we're doing. And then we're gonna play a little lick. It's like a little descending lick to get you back down from up in the neck, which would work really, really well. So we're right here, we do a backwards roll and then I slide down. Either you could grab this with your index finger, but I, I find personally it's more comfortable to use your third finger right here. Right there. So you, And then you go forward, open fifth string, and then back down to this fifth fret. So you're here. And then we're going to hit really important we need to use our index finger of our right hand open third string and then slide so that lick itself isn't important the slide at the end the, the key is that we have to start it with our index finger of our right hand because the last note of the melodic lick is our thumb so you could do the you could do that you could do you could do any scrubs lick you know you just need to start it with your index finger of your right hand that's key so we're we're here remember so you could also so a couple ways you could use that you could use it just over an extended G chord you know if you're here you could use it like that you could also probably use it from like a C chord now use it to get back down like a C and then you would use it back to a G getting back down so you could do something like so experiment with different licks on either side of it too you could also do something like some more of that slide lick Alright, so that's lick number two. Not too hard. Practice that one. It's just a good transition lick if you're up the neck. So that's a good lick to practice getting back down the neck. One more time. Here we go. Alright, let's do lick number three. It's kind of like a little fill lick. Show you a couple spots to use this lick so we're gonna do a two three hammer on the second string for our scrugs lick and then start with that two four slide like the cripple creek lick except this time now we're gonna slide up to this melodic position and play the fifth fret with our index finger on the third string open second string seventh fret on the third or fourth string excuse me fourth string open first string open third string so you have. So it's, like, it's, it's almost like a partial Scruggs, partial melodic lick, but it just has that little bit of melodic flavor right there, which is cool. So all together, it sounds like this. Scruggs lick to start it. Okay, so two ways I would use this is back to the song Cripple Creek. You could use it in the A part of Cripple Creek, so it sounded like this if you wanted to add a little melodic lick. Right here. you could modify the lick very slightly do two slides here and then the lick so you 
you'd have pinch. So that's another way you could make that lick work out. So it'd be. excitement to your ear, which I think is really fun. All right, let's break down lick number four now. 